Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldie on all platforms. And if you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below with the link to my website spirituallygoalie.com for you to view the different options for readings and today i am using this divinely connected candle by journey of atman it is reiki infused so it does help enhance your third eye if you are interested in your own candle definitely check them out so there is a whole new chapter here for you. There's something new that I see you exploring. So when, when I said that, I don't know why, I just felt like there's some sort of like epiphany moment that you end up realizing, like through this exploration, it's like you're exploring new things or things that feel new to you and realizing wow I actually kind of like this I actually kind of like doing this I actually kind of like I enjoy the way I feel when I when I pursue this this could be something new that you're learning this could be a new like hobby a new source of income because I'm seeing pentacles here so something that could be connected to resources but it feels like you're there's something that really inspires you here and there's this new chapter opening up for you and we have the two of cups you have some sort of new partnership here i feel like right now it's all still new or you're still exploring it or you're still like getting to know this person angel of love is shining on your life right now capricorn the angel of love and the ace of pentacles I, this is solid. This is, it's all giving like a great foundation towards something long term. So it looks like you're building a very secure and stable foundation with someone that could lead towards a happy family, meeting family. And for some, you, you two may be like, Kind of different from each other but the same like still have things that you're compatible with but the i'm hearing like the way you may have brought been brought up is different could be dealing with a fire sign leo aries or sagittarius here okay so nine nine the end of a stressful and exhausting struggle financially so some of you have really felt like stability was not in your was not in your life for some for a little while here financially you may have not felt very secure or stable and there seems to be this opening or a new opportunity that helps bring you stability the number 4 is here so things are going to end up stabilizing for you or you're going to end up feeling more secure and protected financially okay hmm seven of swords reversed there's like some sort of habit i see you breaking free from yeah at the bottom of the deck seven of wands something that you've really been like fighting to break free from seven seven here and you're no longer allowing 
your habits or your past keep you stuck or keep you trapped in 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 when there's a whole new life for you or there's a whole new way of doing or being for you this page of swords it's um you now not being afraid to stand or speak your truth here i also feel like there's some sort of like clarity you end up receiving or bird's eye view you may be looking at someone or may not be fully trusting in someone and so you may be kind of observing them to see whether or not this is someone who's being honest or true with their intentions as well and this could be coming i'm seeing the core it could be coming from a place where maybe you were like that in the past and so you're reflecting on this person um and i'm hearing projecting so try not to let projections um kind of like by judging a book by its cover because this is a moment of like you kind of exploring something that you were iffy about at first and then realizing hey like no this is actually this is actually okay or hey this person's actually not how i thought they would be <laughs> you know okay so hmm but you really gotta let go. Real, there's something I, I, or a person specifically, I see you maybe still holding on to, and or an idea that has like rotted that we just need to throw out. And it may not even be the fact that you are so connected to this, but more so, I feel like this is something within like in connection with the ego where maybe you felt ignored or rejected by somebody and it's not like you really cared too much about this person but it's more the action of it that has you kind of stuck something along those lines um where it's like a process so there's something that i see you processing and and putting in the trash letting it go i'm hearing loading <laughs> So it feels like right now you're in this loading, you've like thrown something out and it's just loading to be fully released or let go of. And and, and in that moment, there's this big, like a, a relief, a sigh of relief. There's some sort of relief coming in for you, Capricorn, because there's a situation that is finally over and done with. Like you don't have to think about it anymore. You don't have to um, hold on to it. And again, connecting to finances, or it could be contracts, something that comes to its end after a moment of like loading. Okay. If you do have someone on your mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see what their energy is saying. This could be somebody who's a little anxious or deals with anxiety. There is something I see this person is... Um, fearful of they have their eye on you this person is excited about you though this person feels excited they feel passionate about you um this person is feeling optimistic optimistic but they still have their eye on you it's like you do both have an eye on each other Feeling like, can I trust this person? <laughs> you two are kind of mirroring each other. <laughs> yeah, Page of Swords. You two are both really observant. And then you turn out to be like exactly the same, even if there's like slight differences, whether that be cultural or, you know, it, <laughs> it's like you and this person are the same person <laughs> in some way. Mm. Okay, so it's interesting. There's something they do want to talk to you about here. There's something they want to talk to you about because they are seeing or maybe you're giving the off the energy of there's still things that you are healing or still upset about from the past and they are wanting to clear something up here or like solve some sort of problem or just gain more clarity on you. Oh, and we got the lovers. 
they want to talk about a relationship or being lovers with you. Or they want to talk about a, a decision that involves the both of you coming together. This person w wants to be honest about what they want here. So they're going to let you know what they want with you. Two of Cups. You two will end up getting closer from this. There is um, the Temple Path, which does feel like this is part of your spiritual journey. You two are both part of each other's spiritual journey. And there is a new and solid beginning where you two are both going to be learning a lot about each other. Or you two are both going to be like, in a way, reflecting off of each other. I'm kind of feeling like Twin Flame. I don't believe in Twin Flames, but it's kind of like that Twin Flame energy of you two reflecting or being very similar in some way where you two will both learn about each other because you are a reflection of each other but yep there's something growing here there's something growing love is in your is highlighting you right now yeah and then you two are both like hey this person's not so bad I'm seeing the numbers 22, 18, 4, 49, and 12. Those numbers, they could be birthdays or special days. I'm seeing the letters Y, A, H, F, L, T. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you. So much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.